Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. You know, there are times when you just want to have the information on your iOS device screen read out loud. You might be driving, you might have a learning disability, you might just need it read out loud. I do it in the car all the time now because Brian Norton, who is the manager of our Clinical Assistive Technology Program, showed me about this cool feature that'll do just that. Let's see what Brian has. My name is Brian Norton and I'm manager of the Clinical Assistive Technology Center here at Easter Seals Crossroads and today I want to demonstrate a couple of built-in accessibility tools um, on the iOS 8 um, operating system and the tools that we're going to take a look at today are for folks with print disabilities or who maybe need some text-to-speech help when they read uh, and are looking at their iPad. So I'm going to direct your attention over to the iPad real quick. And the first thing is we're going to go into the settings menu. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click into there. Um, and in the settings menu, I'm going to kind of jump back out of accessibility and kind of go back to the main menu. In order to get to where I'm going, if you click on the general, um, it's going to bring up the general settings tab. You can then go into accessibility. And then under the speech settings, there are two settings in there that I've used. One I've used for a long, long time. Another one is fairly new that kind of is new to me and I've kind of fallen in love with. The first one is the speak selection tool. Uh, and then the second one is the speak screens tool. And so what I'm going to do is I've turned those on. And if I come back out, I'm going to kind of just jump into a document. Kind of bring up Word and... We're going to kind of just kind of bring up just a document here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a selection. So I'm going to kind of hold my finger down. This is the first tool. And I'm going to say select. And then I'm going to select the portion of text here. And I'll just select the first sentence. And when I do that, a speak button comes up on my context tab here. And Addition. if I do that. The has a permanent ramp at the front entrance of the house so she can independently go inside and outside. And so when I click on that, it's going to go ahead and read whatever I've selected. Um, if I don't want to use that, maybe I just want to read the, something in its entirety, I can take two fingers and I can start at the top of my screen and then I can move those fingers down. That's user interview project. It's going to bring up the, page one of two tracks. kind of pause it so we can talk over the voice. Um, it's going to go ahead and bring up a toolbar. Um, it's going to tell you what app you're in and it's going to bring up a nice toolbar which will allow you to then read from the very top to the very bottom of that screen by either slowing down the text, speeding it up. You notice there's a turtle for slowing it down. There's a rabbit for speeding it up. You can actually play or pause. Um, so if I play it again. Changes off. Home. Tab. Insert. Um, and then the two on the other side kind of take you back a sentence, um, kind of allow you to move through that document fairly easily. I found that extremely useful when I'm um, trying to read large pieces of information and I'm, I'm not able to kind of sit down in front of my computer uh, for, for, for long periods of time to be able to get through all of it. So I can then just have it speak it to me um, and be able to get to that. And so that's the speak selection tool and then also the speak screen tool that's found in um, the iOS operating system. So no kidding, since I've learned about this, I use it all the time. Super handy way to get stuff read on your iPhone out loud so that you're safe, accessible, and just have information. That's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.